everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's post review so today i am talking about my first kit from 2023 which is a diamond shop i see something in my glue here and i don't like it okay so this is the first kit i worked on this year this is asteris from Sheryuki, um and it's from diamond shop i I've talked about Diamond Shop a few times on my channel and I feel like I've been, I don't want to say like critical or harsh, but I feel like I've been somewhat, I feel like I've been pretty open about my thoughts, um, how I feel about their pricing, their kits, their drills, all of the above. And I'm going to keep that trend going. <laughs> so um, I'm going to first say I really enjoyed this kit. I really, really enjoyed working on it. This is the first time that I've worked on their newer kits, which I believe have fewer DMC colors, which has cut down significantly on the amount of confetti. Now, Cher Yuki is the artist of this piece. Her artwork is pretty much known for being very, very confetti heavy when it's rendered by Die Moon Shop. She is licensed through other companies. I know she's licensed through Jaded Gem Shop. I actually am waiting on one of her pieces to come in from there. I think she's licensed somewhere else as well, but I've only worked on her pieces through Die Moon Shop. This is my second one of her artwork that I've worked on. And in my experience, they just are very confetti heavy. And from what I've heard from other people who have worked on different images than I have, it's just when you're going into it, you know that there's gonna be confetti. So if you're not a confetti kind of gal or guy, um, maybe don't choose <laughs> a Sheryuki. But I also just feel like that's Dai Moon Shop's rendering. They just have quite a bit of confetti to begin with. So let's get into the specifics with this particular kit. And then I think at the end, I'll talk about some things with the company that I just want to address with you guys so that I'm being completely transparent. So um, this is a 50, 50 by 70 round drills. Um, I only purchase rounds from Diamond Shop. We'll talk about that at the end of the video. Uh, now this kit came with 310 AB, which I think I saved right here. I did not use this. They also sent a regular bag of 310 and this would have been in her eyelashes, which just doesn't appeal to me personally. Now I will go ahead and pop up a full size picture here so you guys can see uh, everything. You can see it at a good distance. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably already seen it, but I will pop it up here as well. Um, just not a fan of 310 AB and I feel like Diamond Shop uses it quite often and I just am not a fan. Personally, not a fan of 310 AB. If you are, kudos to you because I have a bunch of it and I just don't know where to use it or how to use it. Um, I do love that they send you the correct, like the regular DMC in the non AB form. I think that that's a really nice touch. However, I have so much black round 310 DMC that I could have just changed it myself. But for those of you that are just starting out or you don't have a stash of extra drills, I think it's great that they do that. I wish more companies would actually make that a thing that they do. Um, I talked about in the I did an unboxing and a kitting up for this kit because it came, I didn't think it was going to get here in time. It came here right before the new year and I didn't have time to put out an unboxing and a kitting up. So I did them both in one. Um, I had pulled some special drills that I thought I would use and I didn't. So I pulled two grays, 317 and 414. And I also pulled White Opal from DP with Sparklers. I did not use any of these. I felt like this kit just didn't need them. Now, I did, however, replace all of the charted 3865 with AB 3865, which I don't have to show you because I'm using it for a different kit right now. But um, there was a lot of that charted in the stars that you see. There was some in her top. 
and I just really liked that extra little shimmer. I wish they had given us the white AB instead of the black. I think it really would have uh, made this kit a perfect kind of like roundup of things that I enjoy. So those are my thoughts on special drills. Now let's talk about the actual drills and then we'll talk about the rendering. I feel like Dye Moonshot's drills are quite good. They, where's my trash? Here it is. They, the bottoms are super flat on their drills. I struggled to find imperfections with the way the drills look. Um, I had very little trash. Here's my little trash container. And it was really just tiny little pieces, if you guys can see those there. And then drills that had just too much resin pooling at the bottom. Hopefully you can see those as well. Um, but for the most part, I didn't have too many issues with the drills. However, I believe I've spoken about this before in other Diamond Shop videos. I feel like their round drills are not always evenly made. They're not the same size. I feel like I get a lot of, not a lot, I don't want to say a lot. I feel like I get some, I'm trying to think of the best way to say it. Like, I feel like I get some crowding with certain colors. So I don't want to say like, if we're talking about 152, these drills were not different sized. These were fine, but maybe 169 was a different size to 152. Now I'm not saying that's for these colors, but I'm just using them as an example. So while the drills themselves were the same size, so all of this color was the same size, all of this color was the same size, potentially these two colors were two different sizes. Hopefully that makes sense. And it wasn't every single color, but I feel like a few of them were just a little bigger or a little bit smaller than the standard drill size, which I think for rounds is what, 2.8 millimeters, I think. So that's just something I wanted to note it. I'm pretty sure I've spoken about that in a different Die Moonshot post review. I've only completed two other kits, so there's two other post reviews for, for um, Die Moonshot on my channel, but I feel like I've spoken about that before. It wasn't a deal breaker for me because I feel like I was able to make it work, but it is something that I wanted to make note of for you guys. All in all, I had plenty of every color. I wasn't afraid of running out of anything. I mean, you guys can see like 169, I have over half a jar left of this color. So wasn't concerned about running out, which was a nice feeling. And all in all, I felt like the drills were fine. I enjoy the way that Diamond Shop's drills look. Um, I think they look really nice on the canvas, but again, that slight, slight um, imperfection or difference in some of them is just something I wanted to note. And also, I feel like their guide circles are a little darker than I would prefer. Actually, wait, these ones don't have guide circles, do they? This is one of their newer kits. No, I feel like, let me take that back. I feel like some of their symbols are a little bit larger than others as well, which could just mean I had drills that were smaller, but I feel like if you were to get close, you would see symbols poking out from behind some of these drills. Not all, but some. Could that mean that I didn't place well? Sure, but I feel like it was a little bit more consistent than just me placing drills poorly, if that makes sense. Um, as as far as the rendering, Dye Moon Shop just has a different rendering style. If you're going into a Dye Moon Shop thinking you're going to get the crisp lines or the clarity of a Diamond Art Club, then you're going to be disappointed. Um, Dye Moon Shop really takes that approach of the further you are standing from the image, the better it looks. And if you are expecting something else, like I said, you may not enjoy it. However, I feel like working on a Dye Moon Shop is very refreshing after working on so many other brands that have a very crisp, clean rendering style. Um, I feel like it can be fun to have this like somewhat muddied watercolor-ish effect 
rendering. So I enjoyed it. There Are there some colors that are off? Yes. Does her chest look a little funny here? Yes. Um, do her eyes look a little crazy? Yes. <laughs> but that's just the rendering style. Um, overall, I really enjoyed this kit. I think she's adorable. I think she was the perfect little kit to start the new year off. A really good size and she just looked very New Year's-y to me. I don't know why. I just got New Year's vibes. So I, I did really enjoy working on this kit. It took me a little bit longer because there is confetti, um, but like I said, all in all, I really, really enjoyed working on it. So that is Asteris. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. I think it's right. <laughs> From the artist Cheriyuki. Again, it's a Daimoon shop. 50 by 70 round drills. There were 35 colors with one charted AB, which I did not use. Let's talk about my accessories for this piece. So my pen is one of my all-time favorites in my collection. I believe this is a Rapture Resins blank, and I had it turned by Handmade Diamond Painting Pens and more. Uh, they also go by O'Brien's Custom Turning. I will link their uh, Etsy shop down below. Love this pen. I absolutely love this pen. And whenever I use this pen, I use this tray from JH and Vision Lab. I just think they are a perfect perfect, perfect little match. My cover minder is from Country Craft Closet. I kind of got the same type of vibes from this minder. Kind of reminded me of the stars and stuff in the background. My putty is from Nyx's Notions. This is the Gummy Party Bear. This smells so amazing. I absolutely love it. And then my washi tape for the edges was this holographic purple, I think, from Scotch. Oh geez. Or was it silver? I think I ran out of silver and then I finished with this because they kind of gave off the same hues. And then on my containers, I used the silver tape from the Mast brand. And my storage containers were from Harbor Freight. So that is, oh wait, I'm not done yet. I said I was going to talk about some stuff. Let me, let me backtrack. So I've spoken many times, not many times, a few times about Die Moon Shop. Um, if you watched my unboxing from Wednesday, I kind of went into it talking about their shipping prices and is the pricing worth it? Is the rendering worth it? Are the artists worth it? And here is what I will say. It's kind of reiterating what I said in Wednesday's video. So if you want to click off, I totally understand. Is Die Moon Shop expensive? Yes. Is their shipping expensive? Yes. Are, is the rendering worth it? That really depends on your taste. I, like I mentioned, I like having something different to work on. You guys know I work on a lot of Diamond Art Clubs and I work on a lot of that crystal clear, crisp rendering because that's what I prefer. But having something different and a completely different rendering style to work on can be a breath of fresh air every once in a while. So will you see me working on a Die Moon Shop every month? Maybe, but I, I do think for me, the rendering is worth it. I do enjoy having that different style to work with. Are the artists worth it? Yes. Die Moon Shop has an amazing group of artists that they license. I am personally broadening my horizons with the artists that they have. Uh, I unboxed my first two Anna Dittmans earlier this week. I have some more kits from, my first kits from Risa Art that I'm going to share with you. Uh, I have a couple more Margaret Morales. They have a lot of artists that are not licensed el elsewhere. Now, Shiryuki is licensed with a couple of other shops, I do believe. Um, but for the most part, they have, I don't want to say exclusive, but they have a lot of artists that aren't licensed anywhere else. Is the pricing worth it? I don't know. I will only purchase a Diamond Shop when I have a coupon code, a gift card, or they're having a sale. That's a personal preference because it's kind of twofold. Their kits are expensive, yes, but do I blink an eye at spending the same amount of money from another shop? No, not really. But with the added cost of shipping from Diamond Shop, it just becomes that much more expensive. Whereas if you're purchasing from other companies that have shipping deals with the larger shipping companies, you normally are getting free shipping when you spend the same amount of money. So 
it's kind of twofold. I have no problem purchasing for the price, but when I get to the checkout and I see the amount for shipping, it kind of takes me, like I take a step back, like, do I really need these? And that makes me kind of sound like not very nice because if they had free shipping, I feel like my collection of kits from them would be just as extensive as some other shops. So I understand that they do not control shipping prices. However, my first order with Diamond Shop and when they first came on my radar, they used to ship from China to their home in the Philippines where they would then package everything and ship it to you. Now, when they were being packaged from the Philippines, the owners were wrapping them. They came wrapped in like really pretty paper with your name on it and you would get all these extra little things in your package. And it kind of made that shipping price worth it. You're like, these people are taking like such good care with your, with your orders, they're coming so quickly. I mean, like they would ship from the Philippines. I live in New York, United States, and they would be here in like two days. So it was kind of like, okay, I'm paying that amount in shipping because they're doing all these extra things. And maybe like the middle or like the last third of last year, they made the change from shipping from the Philippines to just shipping directly from their warehouse in China. I do not have a problem with that at all. However, my problem comes with the shipping price did not change. Now, again, that is not Dai Moon Shop's problem. I'm not calling them out for that at all, but there are so many companies out there that ship from China that have much lower shipping prices. Could that have been changed? I don't know, I don't own a company. Could they have lowered their shipping prices? I don't know what the stipulations are in the Philippines, in China, I don't know. But you should be aware going in that your shipping will be very expensive. Your shipping, a lot of the times, is the price of another painting which is why I say when I, I don't have a problem purchasing when I have a gift card because my gift card will normally cover the shipping price. So it's kind of, like I said before, it's twofold. When you're talking about the price of Diamond Shop, you're talking about the price of the kits, which is a luxury item, which I don't have a problem paying. And then you're adding in the extra costs of high shipping prices which again I don't have a problem with but overall do I feel like Dai Moon Shop is expensive yes which is why I don't have nearly as large of a collection as I would love to have now if I ceased purchasing from all other companies and I just purchased from Dai Moon Shop I guess that would be what it is am I going to do that no so I know a lot of you in the comments are probably going to talk about how expensive they are how expensive their shipping is and I'm here to say I get it. <laughs> I'm right there with you. If I did not have the gift cards that I won, if I if they were not having a buy one get one free sale, I would not have all of these kits to be sharing with you guys over the next few weeks. So you just need to make that decision for you. I'm not an affiliate with Diamond Shop. I have no connection to them. They don't know I'm making this video. I have made the decision to purchase from them for kits that I really, really love and would love to work on. You need to make that same choice for yourself. So I cannot tell you how many times before I placed my first order last spring, before I was like, had items in my cart and then I just backed out. I can't spend that, I can't spend that, I can't spend that. So again, a decision that you need to make for yourselves. Hopefully this post review has given you a little bit more info, a little bit more insight on my thoughts because I try to be as transparent with you guys as I can when it comes to diamond painting because just like you, I'm also on a budget. I don't have a disposable income dedicated to diamond painting, even though it may look like that sometimes. <laughs> uh, side note, it's what? Friday, whatever day, and I still haven't broken my no buy, so claps for me in the comments. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in to this very rambly video. I feel like this week has just been Laura rambling nonstop, but thank you so much for listening. Let me know all your thoughts down below. If you have any questions about Dye Moon Shop, let me know and I'll do my best to answer them. And with that, have a great weekend and I will see you guys in next week's videos. Bye!